Today what we're doing is I have Ron back on here. Ron Tyler does the animated video marketing, but I asked him to go out and find – it's another solution. It's similar to animated video marketing, but it's different. I'm going to have him explain that to you. But Mark comes to us, highly recommended. He's a friend of mine who lives here locally by me. I met him. We've been doing business, and he does a great job on these videos. But we're, we're, there's, uh, there's a number of type of videos that are offered, and I'll have you know Ron Alexa, he'll, just, he'll go into more detail of it all. But there was an, a reason I asked him. I said, Ron, I need this type of video in Agora. And one of the things, most, most companies don't do enough with video, but they also have to have a number of video options. So I wanted to create enough video options in here that would really help you when you go to the sales reps, help you guys also uh, with the business owners, because they have to have multiple strategies when it comes to, to marketing. So we brought Ron in. Ron, he, did, like, he, he handles the animated video marketing. He also handles, um, if you look down here, the talking video avatar. But one of the key things he does here is this other one he brought in. We negotiated a deal. So what I'm going to do, Ron, I'm going to hand this off to you with RT Video. And, if Ron, if you could take it from here. Okay. Thanks, Vince. Can everybody hear me? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah, so, so basically, I mean, my main focus in my business is video. So I do a ton of animated videos, whiteboard videos. This, this video, um, which is affectionately called motion graphic videos, is probably the next level up from, say, a whiteboard video. Because what they're really doing is they have a static background and then they overlay animation that moves on top of the video so let's say on the first video there you're looking at the White House or whatever that is and probably the characters when you start the video um, they're moving around talking and things like that unlike a typical whiteboard which is static this one moves they talk they wave as you can see and I found a resource. Uh, Vince asked me to go find a resource. So one of the people that I do a ton of videos with uh, didn't even know they really did this. But um, they did. We worked out a deal. The deal is pretty amazing. Vince can tell you the kind of numbers we struck with this deal and are actually able to pay you. And we're still at about half the price of the regular marketplace. So pretty compelling. I think this type of a video is probably for a more sophisticated uh, type of business. This might be their flagship or enterprise video, and then if it was me, in fact, I just ordered a couple of videos from this person for one of my clients, then I'd put the whiteboards next to it, and this would be the main one because it has action, motion, all kinds of things, whereas in the whiteboard, it's static. It just moves in and out. But... Um, has the same kind of talking animation features in terms of uh, somebody, yeah, so you can see what's going on there. Um, this is more of a whiteboard video where they're doing like a hand drawing of the video, and it doesn't cost as much to do these. Uh, if you can kind of see the difference here. Maybe, Ron, you can maybe show the difference so I can toggle back and forth. Yeah, I mean, the, 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 it's pretty obvious what the difference is. Um, instead of somebody pushing something in and drawing it, these characters in the motion graphics videos, they're actually talking and, uh, you know, that kind of thing. So it, it's just another option for a client. I mean, I don't know how many of you or if any of you actually, you know, sell videos to people or use them, but... The results that I've got for clients over the years has been pretty phenomenal. It's a one-time advertising speak, uh, piece, unlike, say, a static ad where when you run out of money, you also run out of ads. You know, I've had videos stick for eight, nine, ten years and rank really high. So it's a one-time investment, and you just build on it. I've got a couple of clients that have hundreds of videos. And we just keep making them and getting results. So it's an option that, you know, if a small business owner isn't doing this, uh, it must be in the dark or something. But this is where everything's going. The numbers are phenomenal in terms of 
views and how many people watch YouTube daily and all this other kind of stuff. So this just presents another option uh, for your client, another way to make money, another way to spread his advertising, um, you know, out in another direction and get him more breadth and width and all those kinds of things. Um, I don't know what else there is really to say about this, Vince, but it's kind of like... Well, there's a lot to say. Let me add in here. So uh, let me uh, fill in here. A couple of things, too, What, and we'll get into price in a second. Another thing also is he's going to make the video, and he's also going to SEO and put it onto YouTube and get it to show up on the search engines with that price, which is incredible. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over here to the plans, and I just want to show you this. Okay, so on a, this, this, now this one's a little bit different. So the difference between the two, if you look over here on this one here, this is your animated video. It's more based upon time because they're just drawing things in. But on this one, it, it is, there's a lot more to it, a lot more moving parts. So it's measured by uh, the, the timing, but really by the words, how many words they use. So if you look in here, you can see 60 second, 150 word maximum, 225 word maximum. But look at the prices. If you look, normally this goes for $499, and that's just them doing the video. And sometimes, like, Ron, weren't you saying the gal that she did it? Like, it's kind of what the market will bear. Didn't you say, like, one government or someone, they, she charged them eight grand for one of these or, you know? Yeah, that, the one for Congress was supposedly $8,000. Obviously, they didn't they didn't get the best deal, but uh, hey, it's the government, so yeah. Charge so if you don't know much about this, these are very pricey. They're 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 a lot more intricate because you have you know mo you got it's a, it takes a lot longer to build these out because you're not just putting a picture and having it hand drawn. There's actually they're called motion graphic videos is the terminology for it. But with this uh, here, for one, for two ninety nine, and you're going to find some of your clients are going to want a video like this. This is really a flagship. Uh, like you said, it's really, it could be one of their main videos. So I, I believe vid, um, businesses should be cranking out videos at least one to two a month on a regular basis. And then, like you said, the, the ROI on it's incredible because once you put a video on YouTube, it can stay there for years. I have a video that I put, on YouTube, and I probably get between two to 500 views every single week, and I haven't even touched it, and it just works for me over and over and over again. So if you look through here, it's, this includes the production, the script writing with revisions, sample theme, storyboard, animation, voiceover, and sound effects, production, editing, and this is, this is important right here the distribution and SE optimization, meaning he's not only going to distribute and put it on YouTube, because a lot of people will charge you, you know, to uh, anywhere between five to $1,500, whatever, uh, for a video like this, but they're not going to put the SEO and the optimization. I just got the phone earlier today with uh, one of my clients. Uh, he was like one of my old clients back in the day, and he was probably my number one client back in 2012. I talked to him, and I, I was telling him about videos. Yeah, Vince, I want that. So tomorrow I'm actually signing him up. I told him about the animated videos. I want that. And we had cranked out tons of videos, had them all over the, the top of uh, YouTube and also on top of the search engines. But YouTube is a great way to um, and video to get your message out there. People stay on your website longer. Uh, they'll stay on their 60% longer. It will also convert 86% uh, more if you have a, a video, a good video, on your website or your landing page. So if you look through here, and here's the difference. On the second one, if they want like a little bit of a longer, that's a minute video, 150 word max, same thing, production, professional script writing, sample. Uh, Ron, can you kind of go into detail what some of these, what some of these things mean right here? Want to just talk about some yeah, of this? Yeah, one, one thing I should bring up is, you know, as an example, if you use the yellow pages or a client does, and they come out and they make a video, they stick that video, and the reason I know this is I just dealt with this with a client of mine who spent like $1,200 for a yellow pages video, and it wasn't recently, but it was like a year ago, 
and they they did it without even asking me. They just spent a lot of money on it, a lot of different things. And the guy was complaining because the video didn't get put on his page. He can't put it on his page because of the Yellow Pages agreement. And the thing is not SEO'd at all. And after a year or a little more, the guy's got a total of a seven whole views. And you can't find the thing. You'd have to do a monster search to even figure out what what the title is. The title's irrelevant, has SE, no SEO possibilities in the title. So what we're doing is, or I'm doing, we're doing the SEO part of it. So we look at what other sites or videos are that are similar, how they rank, uh, the traffic they get. And then I go out and try and optimize these as heavily as I can. And for a lot of my clients, I built 10, 15, 20 videos, and then we built a suite. And lots of my clients have the whole first page of YouTube. Um, so if you put in a dentist term, you'd see all their videos, uh, all 10 spots, and then they rank organically. So we're going above and beyond. We're not just making a video and sticking it up and hope like it works. Uh, we actually go in and make sure it's optimized, it's ranked, and one of the tricks is, Vince knows this, when you put a phone number in a video, uh, you might not see a view, but you actually might get the phone call because the person's even too lazy to watch the video. So one of our strategies has always been to put the phone number in the title of the video because if that person is, you know, searching for a dentist in Sacramento and they're lazy and they don't want to watch the video but they see the phone number, you know, they'll, they'll initiate a call. So what we do in this, um, I write the script, client gets to look it over, add whatever kind of revisions as, lo as long as it's in within the word um, maximum per that video length. And uh, then I put the whole thing together, do the sound effects, uh, I get a actual, I pick from various um, voiceover people. So try to get an upbeat one or a positive, whatever the situation might call for. And we'll do um, the SEO and the location and niche targeting, and they've got a whole package rather than just the video. They have it all. Uh, Ron, Troy had a question. Troy, are you on mute if you come in and ask your question you have? Ah, look at that. I was able to do that reasonably quick this time yeah <laughs> uh yes i i have a question um so let's say i'm i'm, I'm a typical business person um i've got a widget or a process something that sets me apart from my competition i'm not a particularly creative person i know nothing about video kind of take me through the process that you generally you know kind of how you would put um, this, you know, storyboard, storyboarding and concept and all that, how, how that generally would work. Okay. Well, as an example, we just had somebody in Agora. Uh, they just bought five videos. I won't mention their name. And they really gave, I don't know if Jeremy's on the call, but they gave us very little information. So I went in, researched the guy's niche entirely, and I together I only used five different sample scripts and I said you know mix them up match them whatever the guy came back after I wrote them and sent them to him and he said you nailed them 100% start making the videos so I knew nothing about that guy's business or niche I just went out did some research figured out the hot buttons uh, we got a little information from the guy the types of services and then what I'm going to do with the videos, they're not finished yet, but what I'm going to do is take the video titles and take his location, his surrounding location. He lives in a rather small town, so the benefit of that is sweeping three or four other towns really close to him. And we'll optimize them for those towns, for his town, and for the services he provides. And... Uh, you know, one of the things is he's a new owner, so I'm doing a new owner video. Like, it's not the old guys that are here, it's the new guys, and we do things differently. And that was like a five-video uh, package we did, but that's what I did for him. Does that answer your question, Troy? 
Yeah, that was great. And it kind of, you actually covered kind of the second part of, of what I wanted to ask. It's kind of um, how you work the SEO. Because I would imagine that's, I mean, obviously that's equally as important. Um, so if yeah. nobody's viewing them. I mean, All right, the great. On the SEO, it's like, you know, uh, I've been doing it <laughs> way too long, but uh, what kind of happens is when I run a video up there, and I do time things sometimes, sometimes, and Vince will appreciate this, I mean, within one or two minutes, I'm ranked number one, and it'll stick. And uh, it's just, I guess I've had enough experience. Depends what channel I use. I'm actually, Vince doesn't know this, but there's a new super channel in uh, YouTube, and I'm actually building one of those channels right now. So it's supposed to do a whole lot more. Uh, a friend of mine told me about it. He's got a ton of videos up, but we'll probably stick some videos in there as well. But uh, that kind of that's an interesting um, kind of side. If it if it's all right, if you uh, could talk a little bit about where, because um, I'm I'm familiar with YouTube, Vimeo, you know, and I, I know there's at least a few other um, YouTube-like places. But are there other areas and in, in, uh, yeah, where you post videos typically? Well, I, personally, I mean, I've used them all, and my thinking is pretty simple: Wi-Fi, Google. Google obviously owns YouTube, so I use YouTube exclusively. But as an example, uh, like kind of one of Vincent and I's joint clients, they've got a website, so we stuck two to the videos on the home page of the website. If they had a landing page, we might do a different kind of video depending on what they're looking for. Um, I, something I've never even brought to the table here might be lead gen videos which I'm also working with a company on developing a really cool system where we would produce lead gens and sell the leads to the actual client. So videos really encompass a whole lot of different things. If a person wanted somebody to join an email list, you know, you can do that. So videos, I mean, a video is just not a video. It has to have an in-person or in-purpose uh, and, you know, it, it needs to have a problem, a solution, and a call to action. And some businesses want their phone to ring. Some want to build mailing lists. Somebody else, you know, may want something different. So, personally, I have to look at the client, figure out what they're trying to do, and then we kind of work around their needs. Thank you. So, um, one thing I want to add in here is... See, when, I, when we talk about reviews, only 9% of business owners actually utilize YouTube, and the power of a video cannot be underestimated. I know we're talking in particular about these motion graphic videos, and this here really should be like one of their, um, like one of their number one lead-in videos, but you have to have a lot of others. That's why we want to have enough offerings. So we have this as an offer. Then we showed you this. We have this over here where these you get five or ten. So really, you know, if you have the client that has the budget, and when, when you really understand the power of video, you're able to go in and sell this at these levels. And we have people buying ten. I've sold the ten. I've sold the five. I've sold the one. I'm going to be selling a couple of these even this week. Um, and if you look, here's an example. Let me just show you a couple things. Here's a YouTube. And you can see, like, all the video. And all of these have opportunities. These are Dr. Funk. And these are reviews, you know. And then if you look, see, if you can come down here, all the different videos. But you want to overwhelm this with videos. And if you look on his website, here's the ones that – these are actually – Ron did these right here. People will stay on this website longer. See, so put the phone number on there. You can watch this right here. Go through the whole thing. Very engaging. But this whole website is just loaded with videos. And I could go back to him and say, hey, I want to do an animated one. And he really should. He should keep a whole video strategy going. And then when you come over here, let me just pull up another one here. You can see when someone does a search for him, here one of his videos popped up from YouTube. And people are apt to click on that thing right there also. And then when I do reviews, you can kind of see videos. See these videos, 
people respond to these videos on a high level. So when Ron puts this together, this, this right here could be one of their top salesperson. I mean, this is working for a company 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It never goes away. It's one of the best ROIs, return on investment they could possibly do. That 290, this, this 249, or let me go back over here, this 299 is a one-time fee. And you think about it, if they were to do um, a radio show, what, 30, you know, an ad, what, 30 seconds, 15 seconds, whatever it is, and then that money's up in smoke. If they were to do a newspaper, it'd be gone in a day. A magazine, a month. A letter, a, what, maybe five seconds in someone's hand. This will last for the life of their company. If they do it right, it's something they can use for years to come. So we wanted to kind of teach you this, show you the options, show you how powerful it is. And then not only have a video, it goes on their website. They can use it on social media. They can put it on their Facebook account. It's something they could email the people if they wanted to learn about their business. It's a quick share. It can go up on um, multiple sites like Vimeo or YouTube. If it goes into YouTube, you know, that can be um, played and searched over and over and over again. So when you're talking to your clients, this is a very, very powerful and um, can you kind of tell the difference also, like, the reason why I wanted to have these, because these motion graphic videos, I feel, are, they're more powerful. So what I would do if I were you guys, when you're talking to a client, I would sell one of these, you know, depending on how long they want to go, a 30, 60, or 90 minute, and then come over here and sell a bunch of these, like a five package of these, because you cannot do enough video. You really can't. And when Ron's doing the SEO on that, the, the, the guy can have saturation. Ron, talk about some of the clients that you have, like, I think, like, a dead 100 videos. Because, you know, you can really take this to the next level and really overpower the Internet and get where people are finding you everywhere. Didn't you have a couple um, clients? Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I mean, I, I've got one client that I have an NDA with that I can't really talk about. We've been making videos for eight years. <coughs> Excuse me. And that client has somewhere over 90 million views. <coughs> but we have dialed it in on a huge, huge level. They have a few thousand videos now. <coughs> I also have local dentists um, that we've done hmm, probably 50, 60 vid videos <coughs> where we've got two and three million views in total. But one of the things that we failed to mention, or I did, is this is also a domination tactic. So if you go in and, you know, you see the first page of YouTube has 10 videos by the same, say, dentist, and you're going to go, geez, I must be the only dentist around. Then you go over organically, you see a couple organic results, their website, maybe something else they've done through Agora. Now you got four or five spots out of the ten. And the way I look at it and explain it to people is, hey, every time you can knock somebody off the first page, there goes another one-tenth of your competition. So it's not only a video, it's also a strategy to dominate. And, you know, with 61% of all um, search is now locally done on a mobile device. 73% of those people prefer to watch a video over than read any content. Uh, numbers add up pretty quickly. Video's got to be one of the, you know, pillars, as Vince would call it, to your strategy to dominating and getting more business for your clients. It really is. And, and it's, not, it's, it's not also just getting on the top of Google or just having video. There's some people that can produce videos. Maybe they go, oh, okay, I'll go out there, I'll do video. But it's also, you know, people judge your business based upon the quality of your website, but also the quality of your videos. If you put out videos that don't look good, they're going to judge your business. When you put these out there, these animated videos or these, uh, these motion graphic videos, these make your company look good. And the more that you can get out there, like, wow, people, when people see these, they go, wow, this is a really cutting edge business. In the back of their mind, sublimity, that's what they're thinking. If you take someone on here and they put out a bad video here, you know, and, and they got a bad background, yeah, they might have done video, but if it's not done well, 
it doesn't represent your company very well. These right here represent a company very well. It makes it look big, and it, and it just causes people to trust and want to buy. You know, with Agora, let me just show you this. We have a channel, and I believe in video. And look, I've already got 58 videos. I am cranking out videos all the time. You know, and if you look here, another thing, you know, this is the one that Ron did for us right there. I, I have Ron work on another one. I'll probably do one of these motion graphic videos. You now, if you look, you know, we've we've cranked out here. I got Troy working on another video. Troy did that video there. That's actually one of the ones on our front pages, and, and it, he basically put together all the reviews and dropped it as a video with great music. That was a good video. All the training videos. But see, but then when someone comes to look up Agora, then I got all these five stars. See that right there? Here's another one. Review. See that five-star review? So people can find out a lot about Agora because they will come on here. Now, let me suggest something to you guys also. Um, this is a strategy, you know, a lot of you guys are working Agora, and when someone is going to work an opportunity, you guys may not know this, but here's some more testimonies. What some of the big-time Internet marketers, what they do, especially when there's a new opportunity, they will go in and they will create a bunch of videos, and they will put them up on YouTube. And the reason why it's important is because they know if they can be the first to get in there, then they, when people start doing searches, they'll find out their name and number. So one thing I would recommend to you guys, there's nothing holding you guys back from doing some of these videos and getting marketing videos out there for yourself. I actually recommended the last few people um, that did video testimonials. I said, put your name and number in there and and have people call you. You know, it's it's a tactic right there. So right here, I had Jane, there's her video right there. And, uh, this, you know, this thing is loaded with just testimonials. But, you know, you guys should start utilizing um, YouTube to grow your own business. Here she did the same thing. There's Jim right there. There's Troy right there. There's Dr. Funk. <laughs> so you can see we have – wait, there's Troy right there. So here, see this? But see this right here? Here's Troy, amazing business tools. Here's a gore advantage. And look, Troy, you're showing up right there. You should be cranking out videos about the opportunity. And you can even have um, Ron make videos for you or for your clients that work the same for you. But you guys should be dominating YouTube and just putting tons of videos out there. And then when they go to uh, – when they do searches, you know, I haven't done heavy for because I, I leave it open for the reps. But some of you guys should be out there cranking out videos. I know one of our reps, um, Osiris, he went and did video shoots, created a whole bunch of videos, created landing pages, and he's putting them out there on the Internet. And you guys can get tons of leads. Because what's going to happen is this. As Agora gets bigger, people will start researching more and more. And they're going to want to figure out what team do I want to be on. And the, one, the team that represented themselves the best on Agora. And you could use these videos right here to make that happen, these motion graphic videos uh, or do videos yourself. But whoever does the best job getting found, and I, you know, whenever I've done opportunities in the past, I was able to get tons of signups off of it. And then people look me up, they find good things about me. So you guys should be owning your name. And there's nothing stopping you guys from getting some of this stuff yourself, um, getting some good videos and traction. And then when people come into Agora, sometimes they may not want to sign up with the person that told them about it. They may want to go with you because they see where you're at, what you're doing, and the name. You know, all the things that we've taught you can establish. So, um, Ron, do you have any more you want to add to this? I think we kind of... Covered it. I mean, you did hit on a good point. Everybody should have their own YouTube channel, and uh, you know, you should be. I know guys that post every single day. They'll come in. In fact, I did a uh, a video thing a few, uh, probably six or seven, eight years ago with a famous baseball player. We started out. We had like ten views a day. By the end of the first year, we had ten thousand views every day. All he was doing was a one-minute baseball story every day. So built massive momentum for the company. The company actually went public and sold, and he got a lot of money, and so did I for the concept. But it works, and it sticks. Yeah, another thing, too, is when you make the video, you want to put add backlinks. You know, this is some of the strategies that, that he's talking about, putting your number in there, putting your phone number, your web address, 
because those are all considered backlinks, and those are good backlinks. So the more of those you have linking back to your website, your website can populate higher up on the search engines. Actually, I got a call over the weekend, and um, one of my clients that I'd worked with back in 2012, uh, he called me, and I guess um, Berkshire Hathaway bought out Prudential, and I didn't, I didn't know they bought him out, right? Warren Buffett bought him out. But back in the day, this, the, my, my one client, my customer, was with Potential, and I went, and we made tons of videos for him, and I did all types of SEO. And he, he told me, he said, Vince, he said, everything you did worked, and it worked so well. I'm probably going to have his testimony. I'll probably get it. I'm going to probably get his testimony. I'll, we'll have it on, so tell us. He told me this today. He said, Vince, everything you did, all the videos, we went out and did videos of his clients. We did videos of him. We, did, we loaded it with video. And then we did SEO. He said, Vince, people were finding me everywhere. Everything you told me worked. And he goes, and people were calling me left and right. So when um, Halfway Brookshell bought out um, – they bought out Prudential. They made him all these promises, but what ended up happening, he got a new website, and all of his stuff dropped off of Google. He said, he goes, I used to be a somebody, and everyone could find me, and I was getting phone calls all the time. He goes, I need you to redo that for me. So I just talked with him today, and he's going to come back on and be one of my clients. I've already got him. I already did a search on his directories. I looked at his video. I go, look, we're going to do he, – he loves the idea of doing an animated video, so I'm going to get some animated videos. We're going to get the directory, so tell us, you know. But this stuff actually works, and I've been doing this for years. And so the stuff we're teaching you, these are key elements. Uh, Troy, you had another question? Pull you off of mute there. Got it. Um, Yeah. Yeah. Um, Let's say you have – a spokesperson type person for the, for the for a particular company. So in other words, um, somebody who's kind of the, the company's image is built around. Can you cartoonize um, somebody like that? Are you able to take that person and put them in, in some sort of, you know, cartoon form and use that as animation? Uh, yeah, you can do that. Um, if you actually wanted a person, you know, a lookalike of the person, Obviously, that's going to be some art charges, but what you could do is we could record the voice and overlay it on, you know, one of these two types of videos, and at least his voice would be out there and be recognizable without having to make a whole new cartoon or series of cartoons. So, yep. Okay. Yeah, so it has some limitations, but but uh, it could be done. Yeah. Well, one other thing that Vince kind of – hit on the backlink of, uh, say, a YouTube, you know, when it comes to backlinks, there's nothing <laughs> as big as YouTube. It's one of, like, five or six PR10 sites, and that is a massive, massive backlink. So if you put 10, 20, 30, 50, or 100 backlinks from YouTube to a client site, in fact, I just did some research for a client that we're doing all kinds of videos we've made like 60 or 70 of them in the last two months and I noticed the top 100 uh, backlinks to this site which before we started doing all these videos we had a couple from YouTube I looked over the weekend and we had like 47 of the top 100 backlinks were from YouTube when Vince knows this when it's a PR 10 site that's the holy grail of backlinks there's nothing as good as that it's kind of yeah, like if you notice when you go to our when you when you go to our YouTube channel, if you look at every video that I load in there, I always stick the Agora backlink. So this is really powerful. So let's say so what he's saying basically is let's say you have a client and they want to get their website to the top of Google. Well, there's more and so they call that SEO. Well, a big part of search engine optimization or the ability to get the website on top of the web uh, on top of the search engines is Google looks at what sites are linking back to it or connected. And the value of them, the higher the value, the more it counts. Like in, in, because some people will try to do a bunch of backlinking, but it's called black hat tricks, and they'll, maybe they'll put it on these bogus sites or these sites that aren't very good. So Google wants to know the quality of the site that it's coming from. Well, YouTube is the best quality because Google actually owns YouTube, so they place it really high up there. And so when you start doing a bunch of videos and putting a link to your website on it, 
that really helps the person's website climb to the top of the search engines. So you might have a client that's trying to get on top of search engines in video. You know, not only can the video show up there, it can also help their website. That's crucial, very crucial. So everything that he's saying, you know, all these things really help. You know, especially like the client that I'm dealing with, his website dropped. So I have to go in, redo videos, everything to get his website to climb again. And I, you know, and this, and these are just some of the strategies he wants. So it basically you want to get it where someone just starts seeing you all over the internet. Because once they start seeing you all over the internet, that's where they go. You know, it builds trust. And also another thing too is Google's also looking for current information. So as much as a video can work for you for years. You still got to keep adding new videos. Now that one video might still work for you, but it also part of the strategy is to keep new content going out. You know that's why blogging, but video is still one of the best, and it's it's one of the highest engaged uh, forms. If you put video on your social media, like on your Facebook page, people love watching videos. They'll stay on the website sixty percent longer. They'll watch. They will watch those videos. And these cartoon ones, they're fun. These motion graphics, they're fun. And, you know, people are engaged. They're very engaging. So, you know, if you don't make them too long, someone will stay and watch the whole thing, and they'll enjoy watching it. Are there any other questions out there? Appreciate all the questions coming in. Thank you, Troy. So with that being said, thank you, guys. Very, thank you, Ron. You just do an incredible job. You know, he's, he's got all these different solutions. I, this is something I really wanted to get in the glory. You guys got to remember, I'm a salesperson also. I love selling. I'm going to be out talking with two clients tomorrow, and I'm going to be talking to them about video. You know, everything that we teach you guys, I teach you, I practice. I love to get out in the field. I love to sell. I still have clients calling me. Um, I love doing this, I, and I love being able to offer this stuff. So the, finally, let's go and look at the plans again. So here's the plan. This normally goes for $499. And I did want to show you this. Look at this picture. Here's a, no, not that one. Let me show you. Where did it go? Here it is right here. Okay, see, some of the, here's some of, the, I wanted to show you. This is actually, see, this is your storyboard animation. This is a company that sells similar. See that? $499, $999, $1499. I'll come back over here. See that? $499, $999. I took that off of right someone's website. And, and if you look back at that again, pull it back up, 60 second, 30 second, 90 second. See that right there? Come back over here. See the prices, $14.99, $99, $4.99. The one thing Come back over here. There, Vince, the one thing you might mention is I can't, I don't think they're doing any form of SEO. No, they're not low, exactly. And SEO, that alone could be worth $200 per video. And this is included with the price. So not only are you getting the same, you're getting a better deal on the pricing, you're also getting this distribution in SEO. But look at this, $299, savings of $200. 60 seconds, $599, right? Come back over here. Look at that. This is a competitor out there. 60 second, 999. And this is for the, uh, an the video graphic animation ones we're talking about. They yeah. come down here, 1499. Look at that, 799. Savings of $700. 90 second video, right? SEO optimization. Is, hey, Vince, yeah. the other thing is we're paying commissions. That's just a Well, yeah, I'm going to get into that now. So not only are we get a discount, so if you want it, now, now let's get to the commissions. I worked out, I mean, so one of the values of Agora. It's not only the products we're bringing in. I make sure we negotiate incredible deals, not only on the savings, you know, wherever I can, but then let's look at the commissions. So we sell it for two ninety nine, five ninety nine, seven nine. Right? Look at this. One hundred and ten goes into the comp plan, and you make forty nine dollars and eighty cents on the six. You get this one here. This one's one hundred and twenty five dollars and thirteen cents. So that's about, on this one here, that's about 20% of the sale, right? $799, $352. So if your downline starts selling it, you know, you know, this goes into the comp plan, so there's more money made there. Look at that, 90-second video, you make a commission of $158. So Ron has been generous, almost giving half of it away. You know, look at that. You know, he's given a large portion. I'm telling you, these deals are smoking, and the product is incredible. 
and the commission, these are good commissions. I always try to get the commissions around 15 to 20% of the deal when possible. So if I can get up to 20%, which these two are right there, that's incredible. So not only are you getting a smoking deal, you're also getting a great commission. That's one thing about Agora. I always try to take care of you guys as sales reps. I always want you guys to have, make money here. So I always think about this. How much can the sales rep get? So when I talk to Ron, and thank you, Ron, for, you know, really working hard to find these options here for us and get this worked out. So very, very exciting. You want anything else in there, Ron? Yeah, I'm good. I mean, we, you know, we, we're bringing them great products with great commissions that I think are pretty much untouchable when you go out looking if you could find something yeah. like this. But it uh, takes a little negotiating, but uh, I... I mean, my background maybe enables me to do this because I've been doing so many videos, thousands of them, for many yep. years. I've got the right contacts. And Vince asked me to do this, and I said, geez, I don't know if I have anybody that does that. Turns out four of my regular suppliers actually make them. So I was like, okay, yeah. let's see who can give me the best deal for Agora. Some of you guys are going to love this option because when you start dealing with clients, they're going to need they're going to need a video like this. They're going to want a video like this, so they're going to want more videos. So that's why it's really good to be off of this. So I always keep looking to offer things like this in Agora. Uh, one last thing too is when you do get a sale, you need to come over here to the forms tab right there. Click on this, and here's a questionnaire. These are questions that are needed that he needs to um, make the video. This will help Ron when he gets started. Any pictures you know, email, web address, all this information will help him make the video. So just click on that button right there. You're good to go. Here's uh, his contact information right there. If you ever need to call him, if you want to ask him some questions, you can call Ron right there or email him and then fill that questionnaire out right there. So with that being said, we're going to end this segment. Thank you, Ron. I'm very excited to offer this. I really appreciate going out there. This is something I love. I love these videos. Customers love them. And they're needful. They're very, very needful. I'm sure everyone on this phone, on this call, has seen a video like this, and it's impacted them one way or another. These are very impactful videos. Um, Andy, are you there? Andy, you had a question? Let me see if you got here. We've got different yeah. comp plans for Gore. I just unmuted, Andy, I just unmuted Andy. Okay. Yeah, Andy, are you there? Did you have a question for me? Yeah, the, the comp plan is what Agora gets, and then the advisor is the sales person's commission, right? Um, actually, uh, or, the best better way to say this, the comp plan, um, we pay out seven levels deep and bonus pools. Oh, so no, we're putting okay. $352, on a 90-second video, $352. Now, you get 45% of that right there, that, that $352, okay. which comes right. to 158 See that? Gotcha. And then right. the rest yeah. of this, yeah, goes into, like, paying the seven levels. We pay the vendor ambassador, and then we also pay this. Some of this money goes into uh, the bonus pools, too, the three bonus pools. Oh, okay. But good question. Right. That's a very good question. Gene, yeah. And Gene, when you go Gene, into all of the – I'm sorry, what? The upline would get some of that, too, right? Yeah, yeah, because we go yeah, seven right. levels deep, so you're up line. Right. So we want to make sure that, you know, we put a lot in here. So, like, on level one, you know, that's 7%. We don't necessarily list all that out because it would just be too much. Right. But you can do you can uh, do the math on it yourself. Yeah. You know, uh, you know the way that we're built, a cool. lot of people really love Agora because we do pay so much out. We actually are paying 83% of what we call CV value commissionable value. So Ron gets what he needs, right, to cover the making of the video, his own commission, and then he makes it possible where we can, you know, after, you know, on the sale, have enough of it for commissionable value. And we pay out up to 83% of that. But no, no, the sales rep makes the majority of that. Right. Where, you know, some MLMs, you know, or multiple or direct sales, sometimes your commissions are really low and they want you to build a big team so you're making money on the size of your team where we want right. you to make a lot of money right out of the gate as a sales rep. Now, this one isn't residual, but that's okay. They should be buying that's videos fine. on a regular basis, yeah. But this is, you, know, yeah. You, you really can't make a residual out of this, or we would. Um, 
But the good thing is, like I said, as far as return on investment, you know, you pay 700 bucks, right, or 200 or 299 You get an awesome video. He loads it into YouTube, and that thing works for you for years. I mean, it, there's really not – there's not too many other things out there. Even like a commercial, if they don't put that commercial on YouTube, it's only going to last a minute, right? Even if you put the best commercial out on, like, let's say a football game, right, like right. they do, if they don't put that on YouTube, people will forget about it. And it'll be right. lost.